Hi everyone, welcome back to another Shiny Bright Doggo video. I'm Janine. And I'm Laura. And today we are here in Patterson, New Jersey, yep. going to Unique in Patterson. Of course. But before we head in, we wanted to thank everyone. Um, if you hadn't seen over on our Instagram, we announced that we got married yeah. recently. So um, thank you all for the, the, the nicest things. You've all been so nice and kind yep. and sweet mm -hmm. and um, really like... The support? Like... like Lost for words. Yeah, Lost for words. Truly. We'll uh, put in some pictures right here that we shared over on Instagram. So, of course, the YouTube family can see if you're not over on Instagram. But, mm -hmm. yeah, like Janine said, the comments and support and messages just were so kind. Thank you guys so much. The support means so much to us. You know, mm -hmm. Janine and I have been together for um, 13 years. And, you know, it was really, it was a great day. We had a great time. We really did. Um, and, you know, we've built this little vintage family and community. And we, you know, we, thrifted um all the a lot of the decor mm -hmm. and you know a lot of the different things we did at the wedding so we we're happy to share it with you guys and just thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts yeah. the support and comments just mean the world to us we really like we just wanted to thank you mm -hmm. guys and we want to let you guys know if you don't yeah. follow us on instagram mm -hmm. that you know we did get married and yep. it was a great day and uh we put in some photos um either before or now or <laughs> at Whatever. some point yeah that we want to share with you guys too and you know because we've been so busy too with getting ready for the wedding um we haven't had any christmas sales and whatnot and janine and i weren't too sure if we were going to have any christmas sales but we put our two brains together real quickly and we decided let's do a little christmas sale over on whatnot this weekend before we go away for our honeymoon so that's right we're gonna do one christmas sale this year we're really excited about it and yeah. we thought that it would be a good way to like chat with you guys and catch up um you know, we haven't done a sale in a while so we'll do a really short little sale over on one not this saturday if you're interested here's the info um, i'm not sure if we're going to be able to do any more christmas sales right. before christmas right so um we really wanted to do, do one something and yeah. like you know have like a little christmas party because like when we do mm -hmm. our halloween sales it's like mm -hmm. a halloween party yeah and um want to do that for christmas yeah so even <laughs> if you just like drop by we're going to be doing like 15 items but like we'll be talking a lot and like and having a fun time and we'll have some giveaways so even if you just drop by to say hi like we'd super appreciate it feels like it's been a while since we hung out with you guys so that's this saturday no pressure um, ever to buy anything no not ever. at all ever um but pressure to win something yeah show up and we'll have some <laughs> win giveaways. something for free yeah. um and enter one of our giveaways yeah and again thank you so much for all the kind sweetest comments you guys it like made us tear up like we cannot so believe nice. the support like blows us away we love you guys thank you so much but um let's head in to the thrift store janine yeah, let's, let's go, go. janine they still have halloween here wow. a little bit right in that little end cap it's a tiny mount. Well, I saw a little jack-o'-lantern head and I was like, oh, Halloween. No. Very, very, very little Halloween, but I'll take it. Yeah. It still counts. <laughs> um, but they definitely have their Christmas out, it looks like. This little section and then all that over there is Christmas. So here is our Christmas. Janine just pushed right in front. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's a pretty ornament in there. It's older too. Look at that, Janine. Oh, the advent calendar? Yeah, this fun, like, wooden advent calendar. Literally from, like, 1995 or something. It has all the little wooden pieces in it, Janine. Oh, no. Little woodens. It's $20, though. Seems like a little much to me at the thrift store. Yellow, orange, blue. We have Yob. Yob are our colors today. Yellow, 25. Orange, 50. And blue, 75% off. All right, we're going to look, guys, and see what they have here. So they definitely have a lot of like little bags hanging up um, and a lot of little doodads. Of course, we're looking for anything from like the 1950s and 1960s. That's mainly the type of vintage Christmas that you and I look out for. It's the most collectible um, and sort of what people are looking for, including us, obviously. We are collectors first and foremost. Um, and thrift stores, you know, we've been pretty lucky over the years. It's gotten a little hard in recent years to find good scores, but they're still out there and it still happens. Wouldn't like you say, Janine? Like the set that we found last time? Yeah, well, here at this location. At this location yeah. So it still definitely happens. Um, our number one tip is to really look through everything. 
you know look through every bag look at every shelf behind things because things can be hidden you never quite know where your next score is going to be these little guys are cute these little plush uh ornaments they're probably from like the 80s or 90s Look at that, Laura. Why? We found our first score. <gasps> Why? We found our first. You found it. And potentially second stop. score. Stop. Stop. Back to back. back stop. To stop. Back. Stop. Back to back score. Okay. First of all, I saw that and I was like, that's just so cute. But then I noticed this. <gasps> yeah, Janine. That's a vintage Christmas Is this candy a, container. Not a Ross Rowell. An Irwin? An Irwin? It maybe? might be. 1950s, 1960s on that guy. Great condition. I see the other guy though in the other bag. That's yeah, exciting. This, right? Well, actually, this condition isn't that great. I see a little hole there. But not bad. Like sometimes the white can be super yellowed. Wow. You know? Mm -hmm. I'd say that's pretty good, Janine. Even with that little nine. con guy in there. Not on sale. So let's look at the other con that we just found. That you just found, Janine. I see him in there. But Janine, back to back. Look at this. I see him in there. We have a knee hugger elf. A little knee hugger. He's cute. definitely vintage. He is cute. He is adorable. He looks like he's in fairly good shape. Wow. Fantastic. I cannot believe you spotted him, Janine. Well, I spotted that one and then I saw his little feet. That's how I saw him was these two you little feet. always spot little knee hugger feet. Little, their little feet with little, little socks. Yep. Yep. And now we've got some other little doodads in there. Yeah, I noticed this one right away too with that blue. A lot of like vintage ornaments have that like blue mm -hmm. felt. Mm -hmm. And so let's see if this one's vintage. And I think it is a little vintage angel, angel in there. Oh. Kind of hard to see. Even a teddy bear. This cute little teddy bear. That's a great bag and it's 25% off. There's two cute teddy bears. This little guy too, Janine. Little pom pom oh, Santa. Look at that. And it has its original. Janine, sticker. you found a really good score there. You have good luck with oh, this location. Look at what? There's also a beaded <gasps> floss. Sequined Santa, Santa boy? Dancing Santa. Wow, Janine, you just have luck with this location. I'm telling you. Congratulations. Thank Two you. great finds right off the bat. Um, I spotted something. What is that? What are you finding? I'm finding these little tin foily ornaments in fun colors remember i was like oh, usually they come in mm -hmm. green red and uh, gold well these come in multicolor. little um angel in there interesting little bag here <gasps> is that not so cute oh does he have a friend oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. no oh it's time to get a cart Oh no, little wooden things. Little, a bag of little wooden things. I can't. This guy's really interesting. He looks older. Kon Konica? He's sort of cute. What is he? Artist Joy, made in China, huh? Interesting. What's up? Santa's special delivery game. Game? Ooh. What? That looks so fun. Made in USA. No, that's really fun. Does it have a year? It has a barcode on it. It looks like the way the Milton Bradley games looked in the late 80s and early 90s. For sure. That's really cool. I wish we could see the, the board itself. Yeah, it's they have taped. it taped up. We need some uh, heat gun to remove that. Wow, that looks like fun. It would be cool to see what it looks like inside. And it's five dollars. This bucket is sort of fun. That's definitely older. Mm -hmm. Probably came with popcorn or something in it. Oh, look at this, Janine. Just found the classic little um, oh, Del Monte uh, no. fruits for four dollars. No, they're so cute. We had a set. Yes. The little banana in the stocking really gets to me. Mm -hmm. How cute. Classic oh, Coca-Cola. Yeah. Classes for $2 each. I actually really like this mug, Janine. Could you turn that around for me? Like, this one? Yeah. I think that's a really cute snowman on there. I wonder if it's like anything. No. It's really cute. I like them. Oh, what? What? Did you find something? You're gonna want that. 
Oh, the tiniest little, what is that? I think it's like a bunny or a deer. That's or something. so tiny. Like, I don't know, I think it's a bunny. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. But look at all the older, like. Yeah. The older cookie cutters. That one had a peanuts one in it, should you? I just called them ornaments. Yeah, it does have a peanuts character. That's Lucy. Yep. Some of these are Tupperware. Mm. Some of the older ornaments look like that. Mm -hmm. um, ornaments? I can't. You keep calling them ornaments. Put it, yeah, pretty colors. <laughs> I was like, unless you meant ornaments, but I don't think no. you did. Yeah, the that Santa. Ones. Mm -hmm. Janine found herself a nice owl. It's really nice, isn't it? That is fun. I think it's like $8 though, yeah? I want to see if it has a maker though. Because it's really nicely designed. Oh, it does. Owl. Owl. <laughs> Owl. Owl by, by Andrea. Andrea. Oh, Andrea. You made yourself a nice owl there. Also, I'm sorry. What? Look at that. That's a, that's a teddy bear driving a car. I like that. Oh, look at that, Jane. The Avon bottle right there. Oh, this cat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Jewel eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a kookaburra? Yeah. That's I think pretty so. fun. A ceramic kookaburra? It's like marked on the bottom. I don't know if we'll be able to to see. Jane went to go get a car while I figured this out or pulled back the sticker. It looks like it's Gunter Scherz Birds. Interesting. And it's not every day that you see a kookaburra. He's really cute. Janine's gonna be excited to see the maker. I don't think we've ever heard of this, but it's a very nice piece. It's made by. Oh, it's a gobel. And I looked it up and they made all different types of birds. Oh, so cool. It's a cute one, look at him. Isn't it? Yeah, I like his little chubby body. I don't think there's any chips. No. I wish there was another bird. I'll show you actually. That's fine. Look at that one. That's funny. <laughs> well, it's a start to a collection, maybe. Here's another gobel, Janine. Is it a bird? No. No. Cherubs. Oh. Mm. Mm, yeah, it's like a plaster one. Wow, mm -hmm. that's definitely older. Yeah. It's got the fake flowers in it and everything. Yep. Wow. I spotted this guy from the other side. Look at him. He's a ceramic ghost. The vintage style. But this one is um has little holes for almost like lights, like a ceramic Christmas tree. So interesting. I've never seen one quite like this. I'm gonna have to show Jean. He's either very dirty or he's got sort of like a a finish on him. Interesting, he's five dollars. I also spotted this really cute baby planter. I could tell right off the bat that this is a higher quality, nicer baby planter from the 50s or 60s by sort of this eggshell finish and how cute this one is. Unfortunately, he's in pretty rough condition, not worth picking up. And yep, look at that Napco. So this is a higher quality, nicer um, baby planter than you would typically see. The ones that are gonna be worth the most money are like the f figural ones that are bears or horses, um, not really the block variety. But still really cool to see. And speaking of cool to see, there's Janine. Wow. Weird though, right? Yeah. It's like unfinished. That's I was or like, does it have dirty? a weird finish or it's dirty, but it also has like these it's lights just in dirty. it. Yeah. Isn't wow. that interesting? That's cool. We could even like these you could still buy these little like lights for our Christmas trees. And we could buy little new lights for him and make him a multicolor ghost even. That's really cool. That's a fun find, right? I've never seen it with the little... The holes, right? Yeah. Yeah. That'd Think he's really worth picking cool. up? How much? Five. And it's on sale? 25% off. It's probably like four fifty. Pretty cool. You know what we say. It's Halloween 24-7, 365. Every day, all day. <laughs> That's really cool. And that'd be really fun to redo. Yeah. All the little Wade figurines. Little Wade figurines. All of the little Wade figurines. Wow, there's a lot in there. Little owl. Yeah, and there's some multicolor ones. Mm. I might need to get this. 
four dollars. Look, they must have come from like an antique mall or something. Maybe, yeah. Wow. I've never seen the butterfly or the claw. That's pretty cool. It's gonna go in the cart. We'll see. Oh wow. Oh. A nice little cabinet. Yeah, a little like curio cabinet with the little clasps on the side, and it's only seven dollars. That's probably a really good pickup. Yeah, definitely. Look, you can even lock it. Yeah. Wow. Think of all the little Christmas things we could put in there. Little Christmas things. Looks like something glittery was in there. Like, it looked like some mm. makeup or something. Wow. That's a pretty great find. And it's not in too bad condition. It's a little scuffed no, up, but... You can just sand it, restain yeah. it, or paint it. she's thinking oh. i see him i'm sorry i know yeah he's pretty rough isn't he yeah i, mean, I thought yeah. about like fixing him but we have that other one that we're gonna repaint the eyes so he's different though he's got he like is, he's a um, newer a newer style oh is he newer yeah well i'm sorry janine it was hard to see. Yeah. It's hard to like see that and like pass it. It's okay. I mean, I love the garf, you know. Is this the same bag? No. You can get the whole collection in the cart. This is actually worth something if you have clips, right? Uh, and this one clips. does. I used to have it. Um, it has one clip with it. Oh no, they're in all different bags. Oh man, it's, just, it's rough. We'll That's have rough. To, like look and see if there's multiples. Yeah, because there, there are because this banana was in the other bag too. So, could take a look. What? Look, it's a snowman, and you pull him back, and he pulls his little snowman with him. Yeah, that's from like the dollar store in recent oh, years. It's cute. It's really cute. It's cute. No, no, it's it, cute. It, it makes me want to pull it back and watch it go. Right. But I found a little something interesting. Oh my goodness, Janine. You're just like. I found a little friend in there. Yeah. What? He has like little styrofoam legs almost. Mm -hmm. But he's definitely vintage. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at the green on that. Chanel. Yeah. There's a little bit of discoloration in his collar, but he's a little, like, elf guy. Interesting. And you even have, like, a little, like, 80s snowman uh, stocking holder mm -hmm. in there. And that cute little deer. And the cute little deer. Wow, look at you. Bag's $3.99. Mm. Probably not going to get it. Right. Unless you want it. No, his little collar's, like, really spotted and okay. just not worth it for me, but good find. She's on a roll today, folks. This guy's a rat go. Celebration by Radco. I was actually just going to look him up, but noticed that he's broken, so probably not worth it either way. But I also spotted something right there, Janino's. <laughs> Go look at him right as you reached. What? <laughs> That's silly. I spotted this. It looks like older pics. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy. This is actually really nice to find. This is a um, Christopher Radco shiny bright reproduction ornaments probably from the last 10 years or so um 2010 yeah and they're only eight dollars that's really good if you're like looking for you know reproductions and it comes with the box and everything oh those are nice yeah mm -hmm. they are nice and they still make these they make them at uh home goods but actually i don't know if we saw any at home goods this year christopher radko I did, mm. um, but it was like on the cart to be put out, uh, and the next time we went, I never saw them. Mm, so this would be maybe quite a score. So I spotted some snow babies like in the box, and we know snow babies. They're sort of like a dime a dozen, um, you know. See these a lot at the thrift store, but um, I noticed one of them. This one is actually a... Um, Birdstone Swar I can never say this Swar Swar Swarovski Swarovski one and um sells for like at least twenty dollars I think oh nice so he's like five dollars I think in the original box so I might pick this up to flip I have to do a little bit more research and see if it's worth it but mm -hmm. might be a good pickup so we're back from the thrift store and we found some fun things some vintage Christmas and 
some little figurines. So I did pick up this little, I don't know if it's called like, I don't know, like a little curio cabinet or I'm sure there's a term. If you know what it's called, let me know. But I've been wanting one of these for a while. I used to have one and I can't find it. Um, I had it since I was like a kid. Really? So yeah. Do you remember? Mm. I actually painted it. White. Yeah. Whitish blue. Mm -hmm. And I had all my little trinkets for when I was a kid in that. And I can't find that. So I'm really happy that I found one. And it was only, let's see, the price six ninety nine. It's a good price. It's a great price. Now that didn't come with all the little things in it, did it? It did not. So let me open it up. I placed all the little weight figurines that I found in that one bag. I think it was like $3.99. So here are all the figurines. There's some really cute ones in here. My mom has a collection of these figurines that she would get from the Red Rose Tea. Uh, so she has quite a bit. And sometimes when I find them at the thrift store, I'll pick them up and see if she has a certain one or two. So because of that, you know, I like to find them and see them and they hold a special place in my heart. And there's some that I think are really cool and I've never seen before. Like this butterfly I thought was really pretty. I really like the fish that's next to it. Oh yeah, the fish is really fun. Yeah, it's really cool, right? Yeah. So I'll probably hold on to a few of these, see if my mom wants any. And um, I don't know what I'll do with the rest, but some do have some chips, unfortunately. You know, being in a bag like that, they kind of, they will get some chips, but really fun ones. I really like the owl on this bottom shelf right down there. The other ceramic pieces I picked up were these two little snowmen. I think these are hobbyist pieces. And I really like them. I think they're really cute. They have that like big red nose that Laura seems to like <laughs> in snowmen. And normally I'm not like the ceramic person or the snowman person, but these I just thought were really cute. I love the size of them. They're really like, you could place them in like little different shelves and places. And I just thought like for decorating purposes, they're very versatile and they are so adorable. They really are. And they'll definitely fit right in with their little vintage ceramic friends that we have uh, to display with. So fun find, Janine. I picked up this set of Del Monte fruits. We come across these sort of often, Janine. And I know in the thrift store, you found a few bags with different ones. But lucky for you, the first bag you picked up had all of them in there. So the other bags were just duplicates. Yeah, and last year, I'm pretty sure you sold them and it kind of broke my heart. So, <laughs> so they're just staying with you. Yeah, I don't know. They're, the, they're, um, they're so cute. Um, they are the Christmas Yumpkins from 1991. And you can hang them up. Oh, I don't know. They're really cute. I might hold on to them for like a year or two and then maybe like pass them along. Um, but oh, they're, they're so, so cute. cute. You've got this, I thought last year was a banana, but turns out it's actually corn. Was that little? Yep. Silk. <laughs> and then we've got a peach. I think this one's supposed to be a tomato. Pineapple, little green bean, and a pear. That's an angel. I mean, so stinking cute. For $3.99, I had to pick up that Santa candy container. And let me open it up and we'll get a closer look. It says USA. There's a hole right here. And this has some, some noise, some, I wonder if there's money in there, like coins. How? Like under this, this doesn't have any, maybe they put something like little beads in there little or something? Little tiny beads in there to make it like a rattle. That's bizarre. I was looking for like an Irwin mark or something like that. And I don't know if it's under this like tape on the back or not, but it just says USA. I thought maybe it was an Irwin, but looking at it, I, mean, I don't know. And you know, it's interesting. It has this bell on it. They attached a bell to it somehow. Are you sure that it wasn't originally with the bell? I don't know. I guess not. We've, we've come across this exact same Santa uh, plastic boy before, and I don't remember him having any string attached to him. He definitely didn't rattle like that. He's peculiar. And this is interesting to me that there's this hole. But maybe that had something like a lollipop or something inside of it. I don't know. I think they did something to him. Yeah, I'm going to have to look look into him a little bit more and see what we can find as to who made him. And, like, is he a rattle? Can this... we pop him open? I'm so curious. I don't... 
I don't think so. <laughs> we'll have to see. So I had to pick that up because that's just classic Christmas right there. And in that bag, there was something else. There was this more modern Santa candy container in that bag as well, which I just thought was pretty cool. These you see a lot from like the 80s and 90s. These kind of like formed Santa. I see them a lot for Easter. We see a lot of like Easter eggs and Easter bunnies. Um, and these also like could go on a tree or be hung by something. And inside they were a little container. So these were also meant to be candy containers. Close them up, put a few kisses in there, maybe and it, a Tootsie Roll and hang them on the tree. <laughs> tootsie Roll. For me, it's pretty cool to see the evolution of that candy container and that it's still like a figural Santa and they still make it, you know, through the years. Um, and even now you can go to Walmart and there are still Santas with candy inside of them made of plastic and stuff like that. And it's so cool to see that it's like that has like spanned decades. So I like this. At the end of the day, we all just want a plastic Santa filled with candy. That's true. This was a cool bag because this bag was not only $4.99, not only did it have a vintage knee hugger elf inside of it, it was 25% off. Sure was. Which like, I don't think I even realized at the store that this was on sale, which usually means that this bag wasn't new. No, I think pink was the new color. So this may have been there for a day or two, which is crazy to think. Let's open it up and get a closer look at these guys. Oh, remember we were like, there's an angel mm -hmm. in there? Okay, can I talk about this for a second? Yeah, go ahead. This is such a good find, Janine. Now, I thought she was just going to be like a felted angel and like have like, I don't know, a regular face, but this is definitely older than what you would think just looking at it. Now, looking at her face, she has a pantyhose material face. Mm -hmm. Her face is really nicely painted on, hand painted on probably. And she even has little paper wings. We have a few pieces that have this pantyhose face and um, they're like from the 60s. So she's given me like 60s, maybe early, early 70s vibes. Um, sorry to take over there for a second, Janine, but this is a really good find. Well, you know, you saying that you think that's from like the 60s makes mm -hmm. sense because of what else is in the bag. Mm -hmm. Cute. So these little teddy bears are cute and they were in the bag. They're jointed. They move a little bit. And they are made in Korea. So I would think that this little bear is probably the um, early 80s. Janine, you're keeping us on the edge of our seats. I know, but it's because I got to show you this <gasps> cute little Santa. Okay. <laughs> Let's all take a second because I'm really excited about this Santa. I was like looking at it in the bag and there's just a few things about it that I absolutely love. Okay. It's short little stature. It's gigantic green mittens. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't have arms. It just has mittens. And these little yeah, tiny pom-pom feet things. I don't know what it is, but it's adorable. And luckily we also have a label on the bottom. So like we can kind of date it. We can kind of like learn a little bit more. I mean, that's like what Laura and I are kind of nerds about with Christmas is like, you know, it's what we talk about. Like, oh, this is from the 60s or this is from the 70s. Like, us ourselves are just kind of nerds about like dating things and learning about when things are most popular. So having something as silly as this, that like, eh, you know, nowadays would probably be from like the dollar store or something like that. Um, we can look at it and like, maybe it says where it was from or like a year. And I don't know, we're just nerding out over here. <laughs> so it was from Rite Aid. It actually oh. has a tag of 99 cents uh, from Rite Aid on the bottom and it also says 1979 dandy oh wow so this is made by dandy imports and it's from 1979 it is filled with shredded synthetic cotton wow so maybe along with some chocolate or something maybe not i don't know maybe i don't know it was 99 cents it might have just been a little ornament i don't Near know the register or while you're checking out a whole display of those and you're like gosh i gotta pick one of those up oh these this is so cute and i bet in uh Let's see, 1979. I bet in 41 years, no, 44 years, um, Laura and Janine are going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just pick this up as I'm checking out with my over-the-counter prescription. I love this. Fun find. Wow. I'm really, like, okay, stop, <laughs> Laura. Like, <laughs> I'm really just, like, I'm actually, like, really, like, happy with this because this is probably the best condition knee hugger i personally have ever found ever 
ever in the wild. Like most of the time, like I think I can count on one hand the amount of times I found a knee hugger at the thrift store, let alone a knee hugger at like an estate sale. Like usually that's like Laura. She's the one like she'll find them. And I speak to them. Plucks them out. Like I'm like come to me and they all come running yeah, into like my come, arms. They come running and then they tuck well their they untuck their knees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they untuck their knees. They run to Laura. Then they tuck their knees back in. And they go right into my pocket. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so usually like. I've never really found one in this great of condition. So, except for the fact that, like, his thing's coming off. But he's in fantastic shape. Can you show us up close? I'm going to have to glue this back on. I'm going to show you up close. Sorry, I'm really excited. Laura. You're just like, <laughs> the way he's just laying in your hand. <laughs> I know, his little, little lifeless body. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, so why I'm, like, so excited about this is because... I mean, everything, like, just a little dot of glue on his collar, and he will he would look like he was brand new. Um, like, a lot of knee huggers we find at estate sales or even flea markets and stuff, their little felt body will be, you know, torn and kind of almost... Tattered. Tattered, yeah. Stained. And, and fraying apart. And he doesn't have any of those things. No. And he's not stained, and he's not, like... You know, sometimes there's little, like, maybe moth holes or mm -hmm. something. Like, maybe something kind of, you know, nibbled at his little feet. But this one is in, like, the best shape I've ever found. I'm, like, scared to put his little legs up. But I feel like his legs have been down for many years. <laughs> Time to do your job, boy. <laughs> Come on, bend up the knees. Can I also say the color on this is fantastic. It's one of the best colored knee huggers I've ever seen. Like, he's a bright red. You know, over the years, these fade to an orange. Mm -hmm. The green is bright and crisp. You know, that fades to like a more of a blue. It's really hard to see it on camera, but in person, he's just... In person, he is just fantastic. He does have a pin on the back of him, I guess. Yeah, it looks like they maybe hung him on a tree and mm -hmm. put a pin through him to to hang him up. I, I'm just so happy with him. Oh my god, I love him so much. I think I'm going to have to keep this one in the collection. We have like a few. We covered an entire tree's worth of oh my goodness. last year. But yeah. yeah, last year. If you haven't seen our decorate, decorate video, video um, we had our whole tree was like of little elves. But yeah, maybe he'll be tucked away in the tree this year. I'm like, wow, he's just in such like good shape. He's got a great little face too. He's really cute. Congratulations, Janine. Thank you. And you know what? A few weeks ago, we found some knee huggers at the same location. Like I found them, remember? Yeah. So maybe they're all from the same family and they're reunited, oh which is really cute. But yeah, Janine, this is a fantastic score. You know, knee huggers are so collectible, hard to find. And um, if you guys aren't familiar, they are quintessential vintage Christmas. I mean, inspired the original elf on a shelf. So yep. great find, Janine. Thank you. So right before we left, mm -hmm. um, Laura spotted this bag hanging on a you shelf. You spotted it. Oh, did I? You spotted it and then you let me buy oh. it. Yeah, well. Janine found bag, everything in this video. I this, found very little. This bag we found on a, uh, a shelf and um, Laura picked it up right before we left. Yeah, and it was blue and it was 75% off. So this whole bag was a dollar. And I couldn't really believe that it was still there for 75% off considering what's inside. It's quite fun. So there were three different figures in the bag. First is this very much anthropomorphic dog figurine that's pink and gold. Wow. He's really different. He's definitely a made in Japan piece. It's hard to see with the lighting, but he's pink. Here we go. You can see that it's a little more of a pink tone here and it has that like metallic gold detail. That's really cool. This little skunk or chipmunk was also in the bag. She was marked Japan, um, and she's pink and gold, similar to her little dog friend. She's really dirty. She's cute with that little flower on the top of her head. She's also the same pink color. The lighting's really bad, but wow, so cute that they were together in that bag. And this little piece right here is why I picked up the bag. This deer is so cute, guys. It is made in Japan. It's actually marked on the back. I love the colors on it, and I really love how lanky the legs are. If I can find a deer with lanky legs and big ears, little pink face, um, it's a super mid-century deer. It is marked Japan. It's actually oh, yeah. pressed right in there. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a really good piece. It's probably from like the 50s or 60s. I also love the little red spots on it. It's a little Christmassy, which is fun. They're really dusty, so once they clean up nicely, They'll be perfect. And the, only a dollar for the three of them, which is fantastic. Yeah, that's a really great deal. I love the pink on the face. 
and that red like holly detail on that bush it's a really cute little piece and it's probably what like three inches tall yeah it's nice, a nice little small deer yeah i was really surprised to find this ghost if you guys are into vintage halloween which we know a lot of you are this ghost mold will be really familiar it's quite popular it's quite collectible he goes for like 40 to 60 dollars um but what's unique about this one is the holes in it yeah it's like a ceramic christmas tree but it's a <laughs> ghost um it has these little holes for the tiny little peg lights um and it's very dirty i think it definitely has dust on it yeah it has like almost what looks like it was in the basement or something like really kind of like soot or something yeah you know? but i'm confused because i did take a magic eraser to its belly and it didn't truly whiten it so i do think mm. that there's some type of like uh gray or patina finish on it that was done by the person who painted this He's definitely dirty, but I don't think he'll turn, like, stark white after I wash him. Right. It does have, like, this pearlescent kind of yeah. sheen to it, which is very interesting. And yeah. I like how you said, like, it reminds you of a ceramic Christmas tree, because I thought of, like, ceramic ghost mystery. If we just paint I him green. I love that. Put it on a t-shirt, <laughs> right? Um, He does have a little hole for light in here, and what I'm probably going to do is clean him up. I'm probably going to take these little lights out and... um. That way, I'll probably pass this along because we do have this one in the collection. Not the ceramic Christmas tree version with all these lights, but we do have one. Um, and I'll probably pass them along so that the person who picks them up can decide what to put inside him. Or you could just light it up without the lights in it and he'll sort of shine, which is really cool. But yeah. we've never come across one like this. If you guys um, are familiar with, you know, this version of this mold, let us know in the comments. So unique. I paid like four fifty for him. And also, like, that mold itself is hard to come by. We have that's one true. in our collection, and I'm maybe we've come across only one other one. Yeah, that's true. So this was definitely a good find. My only find. Janine, you really you really did it. <laughs> I don't know why my <laughs> eyes were so open in that store, but they were just seeing everything. You were seeing every vintage find there was. I think you swept it all. But um, it was a really fun trip. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along. And don't forget, we're having a whatnot sale tomorrow on Saturday. Um, we just want to do a little short little sale. Christmas sale. Christmas sale. Sell some things and really catch up with you guys because we feel like it's been a while since we've done a sale or we've gone live. So even if you just drop by to say hello or hopefully win some giveaways, we would uh, love to see you guys there. And thank you again so much for all the sweet comments. It means so much to us. Um, and I think that about wraps it up. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.